Hello guys, how y'all doing? Man, this is Daryl with Lee's Lawn Care and Services. How y'all doing on this Monday fun day? Monday fun day. This is December 3rd or 4th, somewhere around. I, mean, I didn't lost track of the days. Just got back off uh, vacation. We went to Panama for the weekend. And man, it rained the whole weekend. But guess what? Did a whole lot of shopping, a whole lot of eating. So the rain didn't stop us from doing what we wanted to do. So, man, we still had a good time. Relaxed, ate, you know, looked outside at the, at the water and the showers coming in. Then ate some more. Then went shopping. Then went shopping some more. Still went out there and did what we had to do. So, you know, hey, vacation is vacation, right? It's a couple of days. Want to take the kids out and, uh, you know, have do something with them before, because we're going on a cruise in uh, January. So we wanted to take them out and do some things with them. So, which is next month. You know, next month is January, guys. Believe it or not. So, and, and times are rolling. Man, I want to thank you guys, man. Uh, you know, I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I do have a lot of people that encourage me, man. And I appreciate the encouragement, man. And I appreciate the energy that y'all give off because all of the energy that you give out, all that you guys give off, the good energy, man. It's more than any amount of subscribers I could ever imagine. Because, man, um, we we hit our target. You know, my target this year was to uh, make 50 grand, and that's what we did. We hit over we hit, we hit over that target, man. I'm so thankful, and so proud, man. so proud, and so thankful that we was able to do that. I do have 50 grand in my pocket right now. No, I do not. I do not have 50 grand in my pocket, but the business did, excuse me, over 50 grand. And I am ecstatic, like, man, I'm happy. Like, when, it's like when you accomplish something that you set yourself out to do, you don't know how you're gonna get there, but you're gonna get there some kind of way. And then you get there and you're like, damn, I, I didn't think I could do it. But I did, man. Uh, we did it. I'm gonna say that because you guys encouraged me to keep going forward, you know. And I ain't trying to encourage other guys. Hey, your business should be your focus. Like, I got one of my friends, you know, he uh, worries about the YouTube algorithm and all this other stuff, man. Because I know it's, you know, it's extra dope if you can get it, you know. Man, stop worrying about that stuff and put your focus in your business. That's what I'm saying, man. Advertise your business. Go do pressure washing. Go do gardens. Trim some more bushes. Cut some more trees. That's your focus, man. And every now and then, make a video about you doing that. You know, and that's and, and it's all good, man. This because it's not for everybody. You know, um, it's not an easy thing at all to do. I, like I told a guy, my cousin has a computer channel. He, this guy's got over four hundred thousand subs. You know, he's got a lot. And uh, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of energy, a lot of work every day, putting videos out, putting meaningful videos, not just putting out content, putting out meaningful content that people gravitate to, you know, that type of thing. And some people just have it and some people don't, you know? And um, that's just how it is, you know? It don't make, don't make sense to get yourself frustrated with trying to do this thing when it doesn't go your way, you know? It's like, I do this, for enjoyment, for entertainment, you know, I enjoy doing it, you know, sometimes I get caught up, but I get, I'm committed to my business, you know, I don't mind doing YouTube videos, because it's a, it's a pleasurable thing, you know, it's a nice pastime, but, you know, my business is my focus, you know, and that's what, you know, some guys need to think about, you know, making videos and talking to your friends, that's awesome, you know, you can, you can do that, you know. It, but you know your business should be your focus you know work on that you know and, and get that to where you need it to be i know guys that uh there's a couple of channels i used to follow man and um this guy got so big man he got off of youtube you know, because he couldn't he didn't have the time to do videos plus try to run all those crews he had but all the crews he still had and then he shut his channel down he's doing he was doing so good he just didn't have the time he just stopped making videos and everything. He was more focused on what he was doing, you know? Um, he, he don't even make videos anymore, you know? 
know, his, his channel's been shutting and taking off. Because I usually go through every now and then to see who I'm subscribed to. His channel vanished. I, I typed it in, it no longer showed up. He deleted it. It happens. The guy got so big, he just didn't have the time. So, and he had about, uh, he must have had about eight, nine thousand subs. But he wasn't even, that wasn't even his concern. Like, his concern was his business and what he was doing, you know. Running the crews that he had, and he used Ferris Moors. Uh, that's what he had. He ran about 30 different Ferris Moors and about five or six different crews. And he was just hiring people like crazy, you know. And if I was in that area, I probably would have went help him because he's a really, really good guy, you know, genuine guy. And that's what people, that's people that I like to connect to, genuine people who genuinely, you know, see things a certain way and genuinely will give you their realest opinion and honest opinion about stuff, you know, and show you how they go about doing stuff. Don't have to be picture perfect, but it's done, you know, that type of thing. You know, I gravitate to people that's genuinely like that. That's just me. You know? But yeah, man, um, I'm so happy, man. So happy channel you know the channel's doing good as far as i'm concerned doesn't you know it matters to me but my business matters more you know and i love my channel i love my subs and i'm gonna always support them and what they do you know i go watch your videos i, I still do that i still you know different things i see i put on autoplay and i watch a lot of stuff you know and every now and then i'll strike a video in there you know to uh to show you guys what i'm doing you know what's going on with me but I'm just happy that we were able to get our target, man. Um, we gotta go back to that. We hit our target. That is an awesome thing. You know, it's, a, it's an awesome feeling to set yourself out to do something. You know, and I know a lot of people hit their targets every day, but it just feels good. It feels better when you set something out and then you hit your target, man. So, man, achieve your goals, man. Follow your dreams, you know. You might try and fail a couple times at doing something, but eventually you're gonna crack through and make something happen that's gonna be unique, man. And that's that's all you could ask for, you know, the ability to crack through and, and, and accomplish, you know, something that you set yourself out to do. You know, some people make different goals. You know, hey, I want this particular more work years, and then finally have to appetite opportunity. I'm sorry to get that piece of equipment that they've been after. Or hey, I want to have another truck and they work for years and then they, they build up and they wind up getting another truck with another team you know on on board of what he what they're trying to do you know and that's awesome i'm still getting phone calls guys i kid you not i'm still getting phone calls for people to get their grass cut it's december so I don't run into nobody. but it is december it is december and i am still getting phone calls I'm still loaded up with, and I had to tell them people I'm full. She just called like, I want to say like five, six minutes ago. And she said, oh, I read, I heard your voicemail saying that you were booked up. Yes, I am booked up. I'm, I'm probably going to be booked up for, the, <laughs> for, the, for as long as I do this work because I'm doing so much, you know. But um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm so happy about that. Now... I can't, now was the only discouraging news I had, man, I came back from vacation and I just went and got my trailer because I keep it by a relative's house in the yard and I keep it locked up. And somebody tried to bag under the thing, man, because it kept hitting that lock that I had on my trailer. It's trying to take my stuff, so I'm gonna have to reinforce uh, some things I got going on with the trailer, which I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, um, there's some tire locks I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna put that on buy a whole new lock for the uh the ball point because that's what they did they hit it they hit it a couple of times i guess they got scared and uh got out of that because they know somebody was gonna come you know and uh, i think that kind of messed them up so i'm gonna reinforce my trail i don't want to buy still in that i had a uh a, um, hedge trim i just bought 300 bucks Echo hit from and I left it on the back of the truck, and somebody got it, it's still left, so. But, you notice guys, I don't feel bad about this because it's all materialistic stuff that can be replaced. Yes, I would be hurt, upset, 
all that other stuff, but that does not replace any of the stuff that somebody takes from you, you know, at the end of the day. And that's how you have to think about it. You can get mad and frustrated, and, and what are you going to do? You know, if you're like me, you're going to go out there, you're going to just start all over and buy some new stuff. That's what you're going to do. You know, and thank the Lord, I'm in a position to do that. I can go out there and get a whole nother setup if I want to, but I choose not to because this setup has been working for me for years and it's been profitable for me for years and it's helped me achieve my goal, my goals for years. So I'm cool with that, but I'm not going to let nobody just take my stuff. You know, I'm going to fight to keep it, but if they get it, you know, what do you do? You whine about it and, and nothing happens or you go in the store, buy you another one, figure out different ways to secure it and go from there. That's that's pretty much all you can do. So I'm gonna buy some more locks for my wheels and I'm gonna buy a new ball lock for my ball. And uh, I'm thinking about putting in uh, putting in uh, some posts around it where I park it with some cement. And uh, cause I do have my, uh, my organ on and I'm gonna uh, put some chains in there. And then so when I back it in, all I gotta do is hook it to the chains and they're gonna have a hell of a time trying to deal with that, trying to get that. They have to take the wheels off to to uh, to get it out of there that way. You know, I don't think they're willing to go. It's not it's not gonna be enough time for them to do all of that before somebody recognizes what's going on. And also, what they don't know, which is so stupid of them, there's a camera right across the street at the neighbor's house that videos everything, and it's always video. And I don't think people realize that, you know. I looked up today and I looked up and I said, they got a camera shining on everything. So it was looking directly into the yard where my trail is at. So they saw on that footage is probably, uh, they probably saw the people, what was going on, whatever day they just decided to try and do that. So, man, people are so, so stupid. You know? They don't stop to think, you know, just because you don't think you don't see something, don't mean that it's not there. Just, I don't know, man. So guys, I love you. You know, take care. All the stuff's materialistic. It can be replaced. A life can be replaced. Your life is more important than materialistic things. Materialistic things are great to have and, you know, great things to, great tools and all, but they're, they're not life worthy. Nothing is life worthy. You know, as long as you live, you can always build back and get whatever you want to get two times, three times better than what you had it before. So I love you guys. Take care. See you next week.